Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And we're going to talk about Google Play movies right now. More importantly, where are your Google Play movies now that Google Play does not exist as a video app? They're not under the movies section in Google, in, uh, excuse me, in Google TV. That's a completely different sort of thing. So just wanted to knock that out right there so you didn't waste time messing with it. What Google has done is they've basically dropped the old Google Play, which was their store, much like iTunes was a store. And what they've done instead is integrated it into their basic built-in functions. Just to make the point, though, we're going to search for Google Play, and you'll see what I'm saying. So we start writing Google Play, and Google Play Movies comes right up. We're going to search for it. And there it is. You know, you get a note that says it has been changed. It's under the Shop tab of Android TV. Now, that's not necessarily helpful if you're using a Google Play device or a Google TV device. What we've got here is this is one of the Google Chromecasts with Android TV built in. So, to get to your purchased movies from there... As opposed to exploring the old Google interface, which you can tell needed to be updated. This is a very old-fashioned looking streaming app. Instead, we're going to jump out to the home menu. And it's already waiting for you. Anything that you've purchased through Google Play is going to be right in the library. So, there's no shop app or shop tab in the Google Chromecast. Right here, you just go into Purchased Movies and Shows, and these are the couple of things that I got from Google Play over time. It was cool, they were free. I guess they wanted people to try out the store. But that is where you find those. Now, if you don't have a Google Chromecast or a Google, you know, Google TV device and want to get to those movies and TV shows, you can still do it through YouTube. You open your YouTube app and go into Movies and TV and you'll see Free with Ads and Purchased. Just go into Purchased and there they are again. Your primetime movies. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, well, I've got an NVIDIA Shield and that's got Android TV and, and that's not what it looks like. And... That's a very good point, which is why we also put on this video how to do it on an NVIDIA Shield. So NVIDIA Shield's running Android TV as opposed to Google TV. It's a little bit different. And like the picture that they provided in the first place, there is a shop tab. And just to confirm that this is, in fact, an NVIDIA Shield, we're going to go in and just show you. Or device preferences and about see device name shield so this is an nvidia shield this is the nvidia shield pro the second edition of it the one without the hard drive for those who are keeping score but in the shop tab just like it showed in the graphic there it is there are movies purchased through google play this is a different account this is my official streaming advisor account and here you see that there's a new store, basically. The store looks more modern, though I have to say, I kind of like the way that the other store would broke things down into different categories, you know, the different price range, genres, and things like that. But this is more in line with the way that Google has been doing things more recently. Now, this device still has the Google Play Store. Now, just like on the other device, you can still go through YouTube, which is honestly what I think it's going to be in the end. I don't think there's going to be multiple ways to access this. I think it's all going to be built through YouTube at one point. You know, so there's one funnel for everything. Their TV, their on-demand, their free ad-supported stuff. It's all going to be YouTube. But for the time being, they give you the two avenues. 
And just, you know, for the sake of it, I'm going to check out the Google Play app here on the NVIDIA Shield. This is, you know, I, I downloaded this a long time ago, so it's still there. But you see, it still presents with new movies. Looks like technically you can still get movies here and then, you know, watch them through the other forms. You won't be able to get the Google Play app if you don't have it already, though. They're still just, like, letting it languish a little bit longer. But, like I said, it's too bad their new section doesn't have as many categories. Because I do think that that's helpful when you're looking for basic content. This is a very common thing with Google. I just want to point out. They used to have Google Play Music. Look what happened to Google Play Music. Go to YouTube. So that's why I think it's all really going to end up on YouTube in the end. But till then, Android TV users, Google TV users, you have your options. And even if you don't have either of those platforms, if you're on a Roku or a Fire TV or Apple TV or even on a, you know on your phone on a tablet, you can go through YouTube and get to your content that way. I hope you found this helpful. You know, I, I know that technology changes fast and sometimes it's really annoying. But they seem to be trying to streamline things. I'm just waiting for them to funnel it all through YouTube instead of having different things. But they're the ones in charge of their platforms. So we'll just have to wait on them to figure it out. I hope, you know, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll share this video with your friends if they're confused. And if they're not confused, I hope you'll share it with them just to introduce us to them. Be a friend. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.